Hey guys, so it's me, Spring Sims, and I'm back with another speed build, let's build video. So this one is completely out of the ordinary. Um, I did this out of, saw a picture on Google. It's like, oh, this looks nice. I'm going to build it to my best ability. So this is what I did. So I'm building, it's called, um, I, made, I made up a name called tread avon i know weird i know you gotta love it so um this is a house building video that i'm doing out of the concert cons cons uh, uh, i don't know uh the imagination of my mind i don't know what i'm going with this but so this was kind of a difficult house to build i don't really know kind of kind of free for all so, um, trying to add in some, some walls and some rooms to the house. It's mostly like, um, uh, desertly kind of house. I don't know. And, um, I am building this on the 50 by 50 lot on the land grabs house lot thing. So, um, I just deleted their house, evicted them, killed them, but, um, let me just get back to the video. I'm just going crazy. So I'm actually trying to resize everything to make sure all things fit to my liking. I'm trying to figure out, trying to click through this fence. My mouse is so sensitive, it's ridiculous. My mouse is being stupid. I had to get new batteries and all the other stuff, all that jazz. So um, kind of, kind of cool. I think I think it was kind of cool. So in the pool, it's like not in the backyard; it's on the side of the house, which was kind of a cool idea of mine that I felt that that most typical pools are in the backyard. I was like, let me just switch it up for a bit. Let me just put it in the, on the side of the house where everybody can see, where everybody can be jealous of our pool and see how cool it is. So I'm just putting some more fences around to the side side yard. That's what we call it, side yard. And it's a backyard, side yard. So, there, this is a, um, this is actually, um, let's see, a two-bedroom. It's actually a two-bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Two-bedroom, three-bath. Um... Yeah, two bedroom, three bath, three bath house, and it's like that little one sinking floor is actually the living room, and well, the second living room, or it can be a study or another bedroom. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. No, no, because there's gonna be a door there and it's kind of kind of creepy to the garage. But yeah, there is a garage to this house, so it's gonna be kind of creepy having to put a bedroom there. So it's gonna be like the like um. A little workout gaming area. I think so. Still trying to decide on all the rooms and everything. So it's going to be like a workout room. Yeah, I'm going to make it a workout room. So it's going to be only two parts to this house. So this is going to be the first part. And the other part will be the second part, of course. So now I am building the master bedroom. As you can see, trying to put some walls. But I put the bathroom into the center of the room and it could large the bedroom. And then I'm doing like um, a little, um, another bathroom. Because later on I make it a whole bathroom instead of like a little section area. And I'm slitting the, the two rooms. One at the end of the house will be another living room. And the other side will be the kitchen slash dining room. And this is the backyard, a small backyard where you can chill and chillax with your friends and everything like that. And a little patio area. Still deciding if I'm gonna make another another pool, but no, that'd be unnecessary. So this is gonna be like a where you can go um, home camping or you wanna go just explore the outside, get some inspiration paint. And um, that will be the backyard area gonna add some landscaping in the second part just adding some dirt around the areas and where it needs to be and then next I'm trying to expand the walls to have more room for that workout area and 
and some doors to the bed bedroom and bathroom and then I make this into oh nope I add the pool so I'm adding the pool to the side yard and I put lights all around the pool why not you gotta have lights to see what they're doing down there because you never know so yeah you're gonna have lights you're gonna like it if you want to take them out fine so yeah um so yeah I'm adding some lights around the um, little pool and then it's gonna be like a little another patio and then some BBQ you can do on the side of the pool see your kids swim you can go swimming and fish I almost said fishing too but no that's inaccurate so it's gonna be a lot of things you can do on the side yard so um there's gonna be some lights some more lights because you gotta have lights so you're gonna have lights oh that's a little bit bright there um so um I meant some tiles along to the front yard and um then I add some shrubs to fit along to to the front of the yard I try to add some like dark grass terrain but it didn't feel like it was working so I just ended up making it to a default one and um I want to put some fencing around it but then it didn't work either so I just put some shrubs all along the side to make it work and then and then I, could, I just do all that you can see there because I thought shrubs would be kind of a cool idea to just instead of fencing shrubs made it work for me so you gotta have shrubs and shrubs are your friend unless they want to hurt you but they won't unless you just make them mad so I add some cheats in to move all the objects in there to add some more flowering and more shrubs to have some pop of color into the in the bushes I thought it was kind of cool add those white and yellow and red and add some dirt along the shrubs to make it more a little bit more natural and this house is gonna be really expensive so if your spent sims want to have a nice house you can always download download this on the gallery when it's finished I'm probably gonna finish this house today and this one, the next video will be up tomorrow for part two and as well as some more videos as well and um, I felt this house was kind of a great success because I felt really happy of what I did with this house it's kind of a new different style that I'm doing I tend to make bigger houses and smaller houses because bigger houses you can clutter the heck out these houses so much but then you realize I don't have enough room what am I gonna do where I'm gonna put all my stuff so um I do all that and then I start doing the outside wallpapering and I go with a brown and stone type of theme for the outside because I love stones and I love the color brown because it's kind of cool and um so far so good and then next I add some wallpaper and tile flooring to all the rooms and then later on I add some more um, some more um, flooring and everything like that so I'm gonna um, play some wicked out tunes for your listening ears and um, I will see you guys in the very next video bye Thank you.